Toronto City Councillors voted Wednesday to approve the new four-year deal with CUPE Local 416. Councillors voted unanimously to ratify the deal, but around 10 councillors were absent during the final vote. The deal, ratified by the union on Monday, was hammered out after a marathon final bargaining session at the start of February. Mayor Rob Ford heralded the contract. This agreement will save taxpayers millions of dollars. Like I said at the beginning, up to $100 million over the next four years. And will allow city managers to improve customer service through more flexible work practices. Budget Chief Mike Del Grande said those savings will help when it comes to budget time. Deputy Mayor Doug Holliday said now the city's attention is on QP Local 79. The city is still at the bargaining table with the much larger Inside Workers Union. Yes, we're, we're going to uh, try and uh, get an agreement with 79 and we'll be sitting down with them just as soon as we can. What's your message to them? Well, I don't really have a message for them. It's just that we would uh, want meaningful discussions to take place at the table, the same as we had with 416, and at the end of the day, I think we can reach a reasonable agreement. QP spokesman Kim Nunn said the local 416 settlement can't be slapped unilaterally on the other unions because they all have different issues to deal with. Each of these four locals has unique uh, requirements. Uh, they've identified unique issues. So our hope is that we will be able to secure an agreement that reflects those unique needs. Councillor Shelley Carroll said the table was set for a deal by council and the union, despite Mayor Rob Ford's tough talk. For the Sun News Network, I'm Don Pete.